Now let's talk about technology. Recently, JD has launched in Shanxi the largest ever drones. And also you are in the process of building up smart warehouses. I think uh, in the eyes of uh, Chinese uh, consumers, uh, JD really is not a very technologically oriented uh, company, and it is only known for its very fast courier service. And so how are you going to place yourself and position yourself in future? Now, Jin Dong, of course, uh, wants to make use of latest technology, but this is not uh, all the time being seen by our customers or by consumers. Let me give you an example. Uh, we've got uh, over 4 million brands and 4 million products within our portfolio. And so from acquisition, procurement, and from warehousing, all the way to logistics and also uh, storage and inventory and so on and so forth. Everything is now being placed under the control of smart technology. Now concerning drones and concerning smart warehouse and including robots for courier deliveries, we are making use of artificial intelligence and robots uh, to create a business model, to create an ammo. Uh, it is almost totally uh, free from uh, human uh, control. It's totally controlled by artificial intelligence almost. And this is going to cut our costs and this is going to up our efficiency. And we hope that uh, in so doing, we're going to lower our overheads. It seems that you have said that you are never going to lay off your staff. Exactly how are you going to achieve that? Now you are going to resort to a lot of automation, a lot of drones, a lot of uh, smart warehousing and smart uh, technologies. How are you going to retain all of your staff? Of course, our staff will still be subject to natural wastage. I'm not uh, saying that uh, we can do away with all blue collar workers. Uh, we actually have got uh, three departments. Uh, it is responsible for researching and development in software and hardware technology. And also we've got uh, an AI department and, and um, right Right now, maybe we only, uh, need uh, 10,000 customers in order to make even, but in future, we may only need 1,000 customers to uh, break even or to make a profit. And this is all because of the efficiency and also the cost reduction due to automation and due to smart technologies. And we aim at uh, eventually uh, possessing over 1 million drones in order to carry out our various uh, operations. But of course, uh, even if we have a huge fleet of drones, we would need a huge team of maintenance staff in order to keep them up. And so we will have to continue to train up staff. Uh, we have to do a lot of uh, training for our office and also for our back-end operations and also for maintenance and upkeep operations. And also we need a lot of staff uh, to work the control rooms in order to really control our drones.